injured. The accident happened about 220 kilometers southwest of Calcutta on Friday night. One passenger train derailed, struck by an incoming train, and a stationary freight train also was hit. Officials say the relief and rescue operations are ongoing. The number of casualties are expected to rise. For more, let's speak to The Telegraph's Joe Wallen in New Delhi. Hello to you, Joe. Um, Army soldiers and Air Force helicopters joining the relief effort along with local authorities. What is the scale of this operation? Uh, good afternoon. It's, it's been described uh, as on a war footing scale. We've had thousands of people, doctors, nurses, civilians from local villages rushing to the site, uh, as well as soldiers uh, and the use of helicopters to, to try and rescue those who may still be injured. Uh, as you mentioned, several trains colliding. So overnight and through this morning, uh, frantic efforts to pull those who were seriously injured from the mangled wreckage. Yeah, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit the site later this Saturday. The crash coming, though, uh, it's really stark contrast to a message he and his supporters have been trying to sell. Absolutely. So this was meant to be a week of celebration for India. The, the country said it's much lauded and long-awaited new parliament opened last Sunday at an eye-watering cost of $1.7 billion. This was meant to, to welcome or announce India's uh, the, the India kind of joining the a major power on the global stage. So to now be in mourning one week later, this certainly wasn't part of the plan. And it, it, it's very embarrassing for, for Mr. Modi uh, and the BJP. Yeah, Joe, the, the cause of India's train crash, uh, still not clear. Uh, the investigation underway. But it's worth pointing out that crashes like this are not uncommon in the country, are they? Uh, no, no. Not at all. So India's announced uh, expansive plans to, to scale up its rail network by 2030, spending hundreds of billion dollars. But, but what a lot of people are pointing out is that it's not spending enough money on improving the safety. We, we see hundreds of crashes every year here in India, many of them fatal. Uh, and these come down to a lack of trained professionals, a lack of safety operators, uh, old and poorly maintained trains and crossings. So, there are solutions, but they're simply not being addressed. And unfortunately, until that's the case, we're going to continue to see tragic events like this one.